stuff forges like butter. Howdy and welcome back to the workshop. In today's episode, we're gonna be doing some science. That's why I've got my extra science safety protection on. Now we often hear the phrase like a hot knife through butter and we all just kind of take that for granted. But the question is, how hot is the knife? What temperature is the butter? And is that actually a good thing? We're gonna have room temperature butter, we're gonna have frozen butter, and we're gonna have negative 100 degree butter. Now we're gonna test it with three different temperatures of blade with room temperature, the 1000 degree blade, and then with the 2000 degree blade. So before we jump in, first off, don't forget to like and subscribe and do all of that good stuff. And also drop a comment on your favorite butter temperature down in the comments down below. With that, let's whip up a quick butter knife so we can do some cutting. I'm gonna use this piece of 52 100 round stock for our butter knife. So I quickly ground up the knife. It's brought down to about a 10,000th edge. I'd say it's about average for a butter knife. It's a little thick at the spine, but it is what it is. With the butter knife done, it's time to take our first cut. I've got a stick of room temperature butter here. And for continuity's sake, just that everything's fair, I'm gonna do all of my cuts holding the knife in a pair of tongs because when the knife is one and 2,000 degrees, I won't be able to touch it with my bare hands because, well, you can figure that one out. Well that cut like really good. I'd rate this as a five out of 10, pretty average. There was a little bit of resistance, but really not a whole lot. I'd say this is kind of our baseline, room temperature butter, cold knife. Next up, 1000 degrees on room temperature butter. degree knife through room temperature butter. I'd rate that at a seven out of 10. Cut through very easily, but it made a mess. It just melted. There's a big puddle all around. Overall, very sloppy ordeal. This is the 2000 degree knife going through room temperature butter. Like a hot knife through butter. We can't make that joke more than eight or nine times in this no. video. I'd say that's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> That's it, well, it's a little messy. <laughs> Next up, we have cold butter. This stuff has been sitting outside. It's 17, I think, degrees out right now. We're gonna see how the cold knife does on it. That worked surprisingly well. I'd rate that as probably a three out of 10. There is a pretty significant amount of resistance, but I think the tongs help give a little bit better leverage and we were able to get through it. That was interesting. I thought it was gonna go through way easier than that. Huh. Well, that was a very surprising result. I assumed that it was kind of gonna just zip through it. And so we ended up with not only some resistance as that edge cooled off as it was cutting through the frozen butter, but it also made a big old mess. I'd rate this cut at a four out of 10. Not a huge fan. Uncomfortable to cut through. Big mess at the end. Bad. Refrigerated butter. 2,000 degree knife. Oh. Wow. Terrible. <laughs> Just awful. Really, really bad. 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. Look disgusting.
So in here we've got a bucket, and inside that bucket is butter, dry ice, and denurtured alcohol. Now, dry ice is negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my, this is going to be a task. And the denurtured alcohol doesn't... Oh my gosh. The denurtured alcohol doesn't freeze. And so these have been soaking in there for about two hours or so. And so theoretically, this piece of butter is at about negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's, let's give it a cut. I think we're gonna have to chisel our way through. <laughs> um, I, I would rate this cut at a zero out of 10. I got like a millimeter into it, uh, and that was just what had defrosted since I took it out of the bucket. Uh, so that didn't work very good. That did not cut like a hot knife through butter. So we have our negative 100 degree butter. And we're going to see how the 1,000 degree knife does against it. Huh! That was just weird. It is in compromised the structural integrity of the stick of butter. Uh, definitely not an easy cut. That was, that was a challenge. I got, got a little ways in and then it just started to, didn't want to cut anymore. Um, you know, less mess this time. We have some manageable, usable pieces of butter. I'd rate this at a 5 out of 10 on our butter cutting scale. Let's see how 2000 degree does. All right, 2000 degree knife versus negative 100 degree butter. Here we go. Oh, right off the bat, cracking. <laughs> Interesting. Really poor performance from the knife. The whole tray is on fire a little bit. Do you see this? It's, it's all... It's all on fire. We actually deformed the edge of the knife on that one. Well, that was awful. I deformed the edge of a 52100 knife trying to cut through butter. Now, for those of you who aren't blade folks, 52100 is like the most high performance knife steel out there. It's like the pinnacle and it has been for a long time. And so it's really funny that we ruined it trying to cut through a piece of butter. Last cut, zero out of 10. Absolutely awful. The butter was just so cold that it just sucked all of the heat right out of the knife. It did not cut like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> butter luck next time. And with that, let's have an extra bonus round, 2,000 degrees through soft butter, top down, extra flamey version. Let's get it. That is how it is done. I think I singed a little hair off my head. That cuts like a hot knife through butter. Best way if you want to get a good clean cut on your butter and make a mess and have fun and maybe poison yourself with a little bit of iron oxide. 2000 degree knife, but for goodness sakes, let your butter come down to room temperature before you cut it. Really, that's the move. With that, thank you guys so much for following along. This was a f fun video to make. It was weird, but it was fun. It was a good time. Make sure to like and subscribe. I already said that. What else we got, Isaiah?
Um, if you didn't enjoy this one, butter luck next time. We already made that joke. Um, you better have liked it, though. You better have better like this video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very, I'm pretty lactose intolerant to those of you who don't milk your jokes like this. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, I'm really milking all these butter jokes. Just kind of churning them out. <laughs> 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 okay.